Okay, let's now talk about NumPy. NumPy is a Python C extension library. So um, on the foundation, it was written by C, so it's very fast, very efficient. And uh, you know that C is much faster than Python. Uh, but C uh, is, uh, compared to Python, is, is, is hard to, to program to write the code in C um, for a number of reasons. And based on NumPy, um, we have SciPy, Pandas, Matplotlib. This is for photo, uh, no, figure generation. This is for panel data sets processing. And this is for a number of uh, algorithms. And this is for machine learning and uh, machine learning visualization pictures. And stats models could be very useful. I'm not sure if we have enough time to talk about this. I hope so. But uh, you know, using stats models, you can do the statistical regressions, uh, different types of regressions, uh, the, the multi-processing. Um, uh, you, you run multiple regressions at the same time, so on and so forth. And this is uh, the, um, the facial rec facial recognition and uh, object recognition. Okay, this is for uh, the biostatistics and a um, lot of other things. A quick start. First, we learned that if you want to use NumPy, you have to first import it. Uh, let me use this. Okay. Okay, let me, let me kill this one. I want to kill this console. And I want to open a new console. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm opening a new console. It's a little bit slow. Mm -hmm. It's a bit slow. So, we first need to import NumPy, this library. And then, we want to create the basic object of NumPy, which is array. Okay. First, we import NumPy as MP. Now we are defining a array. You probably are asking me, like, what is the difference between an array and a list? A list is an object defined by Python, and if you want, just you want to use list to to apply a lot of functions on list, you have to use a list of um, the, the the Python's functions and uh, the the NumPy's object is array. So uh, array is kind of like a list, but it also can be a list of lists and multi multi-dimensional lists. And uh, most importantly, it has a lot of uh, methods or functions can be applied to it to make the processing much faster. I'll, I'll, I'll show you later. So if you type A, then A is this. For example, if you want to create a B, A dot reshape, Remember, there are two pairs of parentheses. The, the fr this parenthesis is a tuple, okay? And what is B? So, see, um, using less is hard or more difficult to do this uh, compared to using a array. Using array, you can s simply make a three times three two-dimensional array from a one-dimensional array very easily, okay? And if you want to, for example, for, for, for a list, uh, it's, I can just uh, simply define this as a list, uh, B list. Okay, B is such a list. Hmm? Uh, no, oh, B list. B is such a list, and what about, B plus 10 and you can get everything uh, added as 10 and uh, it's similar to use a wait mm. oh this is B I'm sorry this is B uh, okay if you want to use a list to do this um, B list times 10 you're gonna get a B list plus 10, you're gonna get an error. Okay? And B list times 10, you are actually 
Uh, remember that the um, if you have uh, J and if you want to have stand, it's gonna up. Oh, you're gonna get J J J J J. And uh, if you have uh, one two times ten, you're gonna get a multiple list uh, appended as one. Okay. But if you want to just uh, operate on the 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 each item of a list, you have to use an array. Okay. Uh, th this is th I I just want to use this very simple example to show you the difference between an array and a list. An array and a list. Okay. Using an array, you can uh, when you when you when you multiply ten the array by ten, you are actually multiplying each item in this array by 10. Okay. Uh, this is a one-dimensional array. Okay. Has one tuple for their shape. Um, B is array B dot shape. But, uh, well, uh, okay. It types B dot shape, you will have, shape is a method of B. So you can show uh, it's three by three array, and for a two-dimensional array, you have three. Three means three. You have three. You have three. Uh, sorry, you have three rows and five columns. Here you have three uh, rows and three columns, and for B is an array, and what is a What is this? So it shows you the second. Remember, just like everything else in Python, B zero is a first arrow, a first first row, first row, and B one is the second row, and B two is the third row. Okay. And what if you want to find out the 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 first column, the first column? Okay. Do you use this? No. What do you? What about this? Mm -hmm. No. Nope. What about this? No. Nope. Then what? You want to use the comma to separate the column and rows, but you also want to select all the rows. In the column, that's why you want to use this to select all the rows and this column. You can't just use one comma or one uh, column. Okay. If you want to just have the first, see what is B? B is this, and I want to select the first uh, one. What do you? What do I do? I do this. Okay. And I want to find out this. Uh, oh, th this is because it's from, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's only had like three rows and three columns, and we should have uh, have it from uh, from zero to two. So this is nine. What if I want to have slicing? If I have uh, this and this, so for I I just want to have these four numbers. That is from the second row to the third row and second column to the third column. So I can actually do oh. see I just have uh, the from the second column the second row and second column onwards. What if I do this? Okay, you only have five, right? The reason is that just like everything in Elf and Python, if you denote the end uh, two, you don't really have to include that. So you don't have the third column or the third row included in the in the in the area that you are selecting. Okay. And you can also have the multi-dimensional. Uh, think about let, let's uh, the multi-dimensional array. So this is a 
this is a two-dimensional array. Let's just assume that we have NP dot array, and uh, let's just assume it's uh, two times four times three times four is going to be twenty-five. Let's just to say. Uh, actually, you can do this. A range. Um, yep. So it's I'm I'm just using an A range. Sorry, I mistyped the, the the two R's. A range. Then I can create a create a array from a list between uh, zero to. 0 and 23 so I have 24 values here I can also do B equals a dot shape then I can do 2 3 4 so I have two rows three columns and four additional columns um, Doing wrong. Oh, reshape. Sometimes it's just a now I have um, two groups. In each group, I have three rows and four columns. Okay. Then I can create. And what is uh, is Two, three, four. Okay. And uh, what if you want to just have the first group? And to B. Um, okay, the first group will be zero, and uh, this. You have the first one. Okay. If I just want to have the second row. Second row. What do I do? I should have changes to second. Okay. Now I'm selecting this part and this part. So this is how to create a array. And uh, as I showed, I created a range of values. And you can also specify the number of elements. For example, you can do this uh, mp dot uh, aa blank space. And you have uh, uh, zero, zero point. So I'm actually creating a, creating a uh, uh, array from zero to zero, zero to one and five parts. Um, from zero to one, and I divide it to five parts. I do it by a range. Can do three twenty four. Okay. Can I do by three? Yes. Yes, you do it. And uh, from three to twenty four, and you increment every value by three. Okay. And what about zero and uh, one and zero point two five? You also have it. Um, so this is from uh, zero to nine, uh, zero point seven five. And you know that one is the end and one is not included. So if I change this a little bit to one point one, 
it will have this one and uh, this is identical to to AA created. The thing is that if you use a range, the last value, the last parameter indicates the incremental value uh, every time. And for the uh, length space, you are actually uh, the, the last parameter is a number of values you want to have in this array. Okay. You can also create a uh, zeros. Okay. Uh, it's a two by two matrix, two by two array, and uh, with everything, every element zero. And you can also similarly change it to one, okay? And um, you don't have to do one. For example, you can do two five, and you will have a two by five array. You can also have an empty. Um, if if you uh, create an empty array, it's gonna give you a. Remember that when I'm doing this, please do it uh, by yourself. Uh, when you are watching this video, please just uh, practice by yourself on uh, Spider. Um, uh, let's just do two, three, and it's gonna give us a uninitialized uh, array. So in the previous versions, probably it's gonna give you some, um, but this is actually a uh, zero, right? This is also zero, but it's just because it's a, 2.12 to the power of minus 314, so it's basically zero. It's uninitialized. Uh, and uh, you also have the constant diagonal value, uh, mp.yui. And you have, you see, you have the one, one, and one here. Uh, and uh, you can have the diagonal one two three four you will have one two three four here okay now this can be very useful in the in the uh, linear algebra okay indexing and slicing uh, we talked about this before. Uh, we just talked about it. And um, if you want to, for example, here, if you want to have this, uh, if you want to have the this one, you will be we use it. Remember, this is a square bracket. You want to hear the first row, first the column, okay? And you have one. And if you want to have second row, second column. Then you have two. And what about you want to have the first the second row or the column? You have this, so you're 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 getting this part. What if you want to have just this? You should have zero, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. But three is not included, so one, two, three. So if you, just like everything else in Python, if you don't uh, specify the start or the end value, it's going to uh, imply the, uh, the start value as zero and the end value as the end of the, the to the end of the, 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 the row or column. Okay. <clears throat> so how do we, how do we create this? This is basically uh, B equals uh, mp dot range a range and it should be 14 uh, 15 from 0 to 14 and then you do reshape three columns five uh, three rows five columns so b will be this okay exactly the same so if I want to pick up this remember I, I could I could I, I will probably test it in the final. <clears throat> B 
and you want to find the column is uh, for the rows. It's the first row, second row. It's first to second. So so zero first, but two two, but two is not included. The third row is not included, and uh, you have the zero column zero one two from two to two three no one zero one two two three four so two to four two to four okay then you are selecting two three seven eight okay you're doing this two 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 this is exactly what I what I did eh no this is uh, no, this has something wrong. It should be uh, two two four, not two two three. Okay, this is something wrong. Remember, this is wrong. Okay, it should be two two four. And uh, we can also uh, have indexes that take an optional strike. Um, this is B. Uh, if I just want to pick up the first, the second, the, no, the first is the third and the fifth column, and then for the first and the, for the rows, we pick up all the rows from zero to the end, and for here, I do, I use this, okay, which is amazing, okay, this, by right, two. And I will pick the first because every two columns, basically it says every two columns. What about this? It's every three columns. So you have the first column. Now skip this, skip this, and get this. Okay. What if I have this? You have every column. So you st you're still selecting everything. So if I want to get this, 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 and this, so I am... Um, Basically, I am um, selecting this and also every two rows, every three columns. Okay, now I'm getting a 0, 3, 10, 13. All right, yes, yes. Okay. Um, now, Let's take a break, and uh, and uh, the next chapter we will talk about the the methods of an array. Now uh, we just learned how to create an array and how to select the particular uh, how to index an array, how to select the the particular parts of the array. Uh, let's take a break. <laughs>